Hi everybody, I'm Henry of BlueHeronArts.com. Happy New Year! I have a commission from a YouTube viewer Linda in New Mexico. Linda and Grace to make a Chinese name chop or artist name chop. The um, the English name we select uh, for the translation is uh, Linda N, and she might use a separate uh, uh, seal for the last name. And so we decided to go with uh, uh, because she likes the meaning of the words and meaning peace or security. And Lin um, meaning forest. In female name, we always add a jade radical, uh, meaning the the jade green forest or forested green jade, whatever. Uh, Lin Da in traditional. Traditional uh, Chinese character meaning um, to arrive or to go through, to go through forest and peaceful. So uh, in Chinese, the last name comes first. So we now, you know, we have uh, a layout. Uh, in Chinese seal, you can go from upright to up left, then down, and then to the right again. So it goes like a circle. So, so one, two, three, four. This is a one option. Oh, by the way, we added the last cur uh, character in. in the character for seal. So uh, seal of. Uh, and Linda or Linda and Linda and Yin, Linda and Yin. Actually, in Chinese, read and Linda Yin. The other composition is this. I'm sorry. This is the mirror image. So this is. Uh, another common layout. First character or the last name comes first and then goes down and the left so from right to left and the top down. So one, two, three, four. It reads An Ling Da Yin. An Ling Da Yin. This one I draw on computer with a mouse. And this one is um, a computer font, a hand, hand style, uh, small script. So um, she liked both of these and like to be carved in the negative or the in style. Um, personally, I like this one better and it suits her bold style of painting. So I will do this one. Now we have uh, a printout basically the same size as the stone and I used the traditional 10 uh, uh, red paper to transfer the design onto the stone already to save your time watching. You can find the process of copy and transfer from the previous videos on YouTube. So I'm not going to carve it. Usually I put a mirror image as reference when I carve. So you can also uh, follow the 
my knife uh, or strokes. So I'm going to do the first character first and start from the roof radical. So some uh, stone like this one, the Qingtian, is very uh, crispy and uh, it produces this chipping a lot, so you can hear the sound. Uh, the one I did earlier does not have the noise or the sound, the music, I think. This character An is like a, a picture of a, a house, a, a roof, um, and then a lady sitting inside. We don't blow with a uh, mouth, we use an uh, old teeth brush to dust it for your safety, for your health. So, I turn the stone when I have a curve like that. It takes two cups to two cups to make the line smooth on both sides. When you have um, parallel lines like this character, we could uh, uh, share some strokes, like in the middle. Uh, this is very common. Instead of making the crossing, I'd rather maybe um, make a shared line. As if they just uh, merge together. This is a two trees uh, radical together to form the forest.
this bottom part also can be sheared This uh, jade radical The third character is uh, to pass through. Da. Right, this is the walk radical. This part is the foot. Upper part is the street. Simplified. is the sound is the up part is the character da actually means big is the sheep also means auspicious yang or xiang
Das Maastrum in Arceo. I've done many uh, these characters. Almost on every four character seal. Every one will come out different because it's hand carved. As you can see, there are uh, plenty of uh, room for the margin making. So I'm going to make it look very uh, natural instead of a square, like a machine made or computer made. I'll make it uh, more natural, uh, old looking, just like uh, you see on those. Uh, fashion uh, vintage clothing, they have these little patches and cut pieces, sometimes, sometimes just holes, you know, that's the idea of making this uh, kind of seal to look um, vintage or very old. You can knock out some uh, random, uh, but I, you know, I can have more controlled way of doing it. Just carve it. You can make it to just like natural uh, formed, rusted or kind of uh, broken. Submit this edge with a uh, round slope, kind of take out the sharp corners. You can see on my design this uh, character. Um, if you see this uh, correct image, it uh, uh, broke to share the margin. Uh, uh, to, so I'm going to do that. Also, the bottom on this of this seal is close to the to this line, to this horizontal line. I'm going to make a first imprint 
before I um, make up the old looking further. Put a little book underneath it. This is the ink paste. Make sure it's all loaded. Use your left hand, hold the paper, lift it carefully. Here we have our first stamp. So I may, I'll make some uh, uh, polishing to make the strokes more uh, round, kind of without those sharp corners. Okay. I break this side um, to make it more like the design.
Okay, let's make another. Now it's much better, I think. Now you can see um, the margin is uh, about the design, and only um, this part could be a little bit more broken. A 40, if you will. So I will just cover it a little bit. That should be it. Okay, now let's make a final test. Yeah, it's much uh, almost reached the design um, I have in mind on the computer. But it looks more natural, of course. So I'm going to make an official stamp in my uh, collection book, a portfolio book. I think I moved a little bit. Yeah, it's a little blurry because I moved. Sorry, I have to make another one. I messed up on this one, it's uh, moved, so a little bit blurry, so I will need to make another one, hopefully. No moving, press, very hard. No moving. Okay, hold the paper while you lift. Okay, now you have a perfect stain. It's very good, I think. Um, as you can see, the design and the result always have some uh, uh, different or surprise. So you need to keep an open mind when you do this kind of uh, art. I hope you enjoyed the process, Linda, and everybody on YouTube. Have a good um, New Year's holiday and 
ha um, happy new year and a happy painting everybody see you soon bye bye now I'm going to show Linda how to sign her name a new Chinese name in the walking um, script Lin uh, I should end Lin Da and first and Lin you can combine the two just like that A little longer and then da okay just uh, simplify some of the strokes and then I'll put the seal Beautiful, is it it? Thank you Linda for commissioning me to do your name chop and thank everybody on YouTube for watching. And hope you have a, a prosperous new year 2011. Bye bye everybody.